Okay, YouTube. <clears throat> I'm going to show you pretty much a couple of things with this um, touchscreen and the spectrum scope. That uh, when you first get this, I'm, I'm going to show you a little bit of customization. With you, you know, you can change the look at, of the uh, the uh, spectrum scope and the waterfall, so that way you kind of kind of uh, gives you the ability to adjust it to your liking. Um, the way it's displayed now is the way it comes out of the box from ICOM and I kind of don't like it because it's a lot of a lot of stuff going on here you really I just for some reason that's just too much going on for me right here um, I'm gonna clean this up a little bit to make it uh, make it just uh, easier it just looks noisy right there so what I'm gonna do is um, basically show you how to set up your spectrum scope um, it, well let me back up a second here Oh, that's another set. Um, this is the way it looks pretty much when you get it from ICOM. If you hit X XP, EXPD set button here, it expands it, makes it almost a full screen of to the radio. Um, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to customize this a little bit. Hold that button there, and it brings up a whole new set of, um, of controls. You know, scope during transmit, center type, um, on off. Um, but what I what I'm really wanted to show you is how I want the, how I customize the look for myself. I went to waveform type, fill plus line, and I'll show you the way that looks like. Now, if you notice, there's little lines. It's outlined this white that's coming through here is outlined so now let's go back let's change the color of the waveform whoops all right that's how you go to be that's how you go back to default but you just hit tap that i want to go black so i want to negative all this out And that goes, and that gives me my color code, my color black. And if you look at the RGB color code for, you know, you can type these numbers, you know, you just, you can adjust these to make these numbers match the RGB color code for whatever color you want. And I hit back. And let's see what that did. So remember, I, I changed the waveform type to fill plus line, and then I changed the line to black. Now you see how you got the, the black and the line out there? Now you see the line is brown-ish. Well, let's go back and uh, change that color. Here we go, waveform line. So I want it green. So let's get this out. Let's add this. I want like a greenish, like a like you would see on a uh, oscilloscope. The you know the color on the oscilloscope. So and then I I don't want nothing here. Cause that's that blue, it's that blue background behind it. I don't like that, so I want to get rid of that too. Oh, did you notice the line that's outlined it? Pretty slick, huh? So now, let's go back in. That's default. Just what? Negative it all out. Now, that's a little bit clearer. You can, to me, I like the way that looks. It's a lot clearer, so that way uh, doesn't seem kind of it doesn't seem as busy to me. It's a little bit more uh, focused. I well, I like it that way, but it gives you the idea of how you can customize it. So anyway, you can change the rate of how how these jump up and down. I got I keep forgetting to hold that. The averaging. This is where you change the rate of how it jumps up and down. Oops, I keep holding it down. Just tap it. It gives you a selection of off, two, three, four. And uh, this slows down how often this jumps. If you notice, we'll go to two. You see is how it slows it down a little bit. It's not as jumping up as fast. Let's go back, set it to three. 
slow down just a little bit more you really can't tell the difference there but you get the idea some guys like it here to where it's not jumping around so much so it gives you a nice look on this you know gives gives you a different aspect and look on this on the scope so let's go back to default which is off and you see how fast it jumps around that really I'm not really worried about that that doesn't really bother me but just giving you an idea of uh, what you can do with it pretty slick okay all right YouTube here we go I'm going to show you some more customization of the spectrum scope on your uh, ICOM 7300 um, when you get it from uh, ICOM it comes this color you know white the peak is white um, you can change that by going into peak waterfall color let me back up by holding this down for about a second and then it comes up with the sp uh, scope set and then the water you know it'll most likely be all the way you gotta scroll down to about the fourth uh, page and uh, and just tap that default is eight so when you go all the way to one shows a lot of the peak color is red and uh, and then it you know as you can see the peak color is red then you got a lot of yellow from red to blue basically so to me that's a little too busy so try two a little bit better three still about the same but a little bit different four kind of a starting to balance out five now you got now just your peak in your it's not you know bleeding over into the rest of your uh to rest your uh spectrum six almost no change seven it's almost close to default i don't even think i don't even see any yellow unless it's really really strong signal whoops yep that's supposed to be on oops don't want to do that and of course the default setting and there's not going to be no color change so let's go back and i think i'm going to leave mine on five gives me a little bit of peak color anyway thank you guys thanks for watching have a great day. 73.